We have an oak tree here today. Got some lean toward the house, but it's got a fair bit of weight on this side. So, so yes, it leans toward the house, but with the proper hinge and with this weight here, I think I'll put it right there. Cut this thing down. That's a climbing show. I'll come back for the blower. And then I'll climb that tree when I get back there. That tree that I fell was one that could mislead a homeowner. It could mislead someone who thought it was easy. I mean, it is, but only if you know the constitution of the wood and how the various leans, because there's more than one, how the limb weight and the leans are affecting the hinge. Those are the ones that people think they got it. And if they don't cut the hinge right, they end up with the tree on the house. This next one would be good for the crane, but there's so many low car wash style limbs in the driveway that it'll be, It'd be not cool to go in there with the crane and beat up the crane and a little bit of rigging, a little bit of climbing and that tree will be done. So it'd be kind of a load off to not drive the crane even though I could do that tree in two picks with the crane. I'm thinking I might set up some kind of way for you guys to pull the, yeah, the low stuff up to a, uh, if you put a little omni block up there, we can we could manage it. Do you have a little omni? I have some blocks, yeah. I have yeah. nothing like a tarp construction under you to put you on your best behavior. Hey, would you Cut this tree over my rice paper, my rice paper meditation station. All that noise for one little cut. Yep, it's loud. The ODF is gonna come even though it's winter. <laughs> Mr. Hunicky, your illegalness has gone too far. SRT guy would have just thrown into this thing and gone up the rope. But old fashioned me. I just climbed the tree. This is interesting. This I don't have a really good high tie for this. And if I put the block where I want it, it's gonna be pretty far out there. So I'm gonna have to back it up. So do you see that other carabiner? In order to assure that it's going to be strong enough here, I'm going to have to back it up to here so that these are pulled like that when the load comes on because I'm tied into the lowering spar and I don't want any excitement. Pretty small stuff I'm in here. So light duty rigging here. We have this little tiny spar being backed up by that one because we're going to be pulling down on it pretty hard so it needs some reinforcement and then also i'm on it so my my climbing stuff is backed up here and goes over and down so i'm backed up by this and the lowering portion is backed up by that I just have to remember to not be too cavalier with my rigging, not too huge. So I'll just throw this over there. Y yeah, you might want a hook nearby, a pole with just a hook on it. <laughs> it's 
pretty light duty operation here. Don't let me forget that. <laughs> Any windows? No. Just, uh, so, tip for the viewer when when you're pulling a, a rope up with the metal snap, and if it's doing this, windows will break. You don't like when that happens, I promise. I think this one's a little heavier. A roof, skylights, itty bitty, little carport with a tarp over it, all pristine. Pretty small structure we're rigging from, but it's engineered well. So this right here that I'm going to cut off will weigh as much as that that's holding it up, but that's being held up by that. Are you ready? You ready for it? Next one I'm gonna, well I think I'll give you this little piece of wood first. These kind, audience, we just, the pieces that way, we're, we're rigging it this way. You make a little knot kind of on the quadrant of the limb that's here, and then you just swing it around. You try not to get skewered when it comes past you. This is going to separate into two. <laughs> Hook it, pull it down to yourself, and then and then bring it around. Okay, don't get smacked. Okay. Bring it around this way. There you go. Now pull it up, and I am thinking about having one slide down to it also that will just, it's this, this one that hangs over will, will be like competing with the travel that I want it to have. Now, I'm hoping you guys will be strong enough to pull hard enough to take it up past me. Okay. Watch this break the rigging spar out with our big chubby guys down there. Did I, did I scrape you guys? Did I scrape past you? Sorry. That one had too much rope out in order to, if we would have tried to swing it, this wouldn't have worked. 
needed to come straight up and out. Thank you. I don't know why I'm instructing you after all these years. All right, uh, tighten this up. This one, I'm gonna try to kick it away. started to come back to me. Just keeping this rigging pretty tame. Peeler. Cutting peelers today for the landing. It pushed. It was a really good vantage point. It was like real slow and calm, but kind of a pretty good distance. It's going to be awesome if you guys are both pulling hard on this as it comes off. Yeah, yeah. Because it's going to be this cool little travel right over that roof. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. We're gonna do another one. You're you pulling you holding up on it is gonna be why it's gonna be so awesome. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. You're awesome. <laughs> you see the back lean here? Kind of hard to tell through the YouTube lens, but this one I didn't, this one could have been felled even with all that weight we had on there, but it would have taken, I would have wanted two lines on it and it would have just been like mental hassle so cutting off that arm over the roof and a few others is going to make this a little easier and we're still just going to cripple cut it so we're going to put the notch how we directionally where we want it to go and we're going to cut the hinge up to where we want it and then we're just going to pull it over oh. all right put some torque on it that's good for the face cut yeah 
We don't talk about brew, no, no, no. Sometimes everybody goes looky-loo when they're driving through a construction area. And the construction guy, if you've ever done holding a sign, you're, you're kind of want them to get going so that you can get your work going. Sometimes people go too slow on the slow zone. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the guy had the presence of mind to call for help and I, I think that's good because if you don't know all the details then you could definitely put that tree right on your house. <laughs> 